Oh, uh, now time to turn to our chief meteorologist, Jeff Baradelli, because uh, you have some predictions about the storm season coming up, the hurricane season. Yeah, every forecast I've seen says that this is likely to be an active season. It makes a lot of meteorological sense, and the latest forecast came out today from NOAA, so let's show you what they are calling for. 14 to 21 name storms. Now, the average is 14 name storms, so obviously on the high end of normal, likely above normal. Same thing with hurricanes, 6 to 10, and as far as major storms, about 3 to 6 major storms are forecast. Generally, we have uh, stronger storms, Cat 3s, Cat 4s, Cat 5s, and we have higher water temperatures. But one of the big factors is La Nina. La Nina has happened the last two seasons. It's happening again. We call it a triple dip La Nina. It is very rare, but it does happen. This is what La Nina is. Cooler than normal water temperatures in the equatorial Pacific, and that fuels a weaker jet stream. That means less wind shear in the atmosphere. And so these storms, as they get going, there's no strong winds in the atmosphere to tear them apart. And so there's a better chance they can get stronger, and we can see more of those storms go from tropical storms uh, to hurricanes. Now, this is really interesting. If you compare La Nina years with El Nino years, there is a stark contrast. This is the last 30 years, every hurricane during La Nina, right there. Now take a look at El Nino. One more time, La Nina is very different. In fact, we see triple the number of storms during La Nina seasons. All right, in our weather, we're tracking.